ago, right? That's right, Tati. Okay. When I got to the parish, I thought of a fundraiser that would really benefit the parish and also the restaurants in the neighborhood. So I went around to all the different restaurants. I invited them to come in, and we got about 40 or 50 restaurants in the very first time. The very first year you did it, right? Yes. Okay, and right. all of a sudden, the people just started to come out, and it was an amazing event. Right. And for the last 12 years, it has been a major fundraiser for the parish. People come from all over to check out the Taste of the Ridge, That's right? right? So let's go get our taste of the Ridge for ourselves. Let's go. Sancho's. Okay. It's fairly new to the Taste of the Ridge, and it looks like they have a paella here. Right. Good to see you. Let me give you a little bit of everything then, okay? Great. Here's a mussel, here's some shrimp, and a piece wow. of fish, and a nice piece of chicken right here. That's yeah. great. That's great. Okay. Top of now that's good. Really good. Okay. So Father Jamie, tell me about this place. Embers is another landmark in Bay Ridge. They've been here for a number of years. One of their famous dishes at Embers is their famous potato pie. I want to hear what you have to say. I need to taste it. Okay. Good. It's good. <laughs> Tricana fine wines. Am I saying that right? Yes, okay. sounds right. This is State Senator Martin Golden, and he's drinking a little wine. It must be a day yeah, off, right, Mr. Golden? It's definitely my day off. <laughs> <laughs> I am not, and I'm not drinking it. I'm sniffing it. Sniffing it? <laughs> what kind of wine is that? Red wine? This is, is this? a good Terry. Uh, Terry Vassi. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. You know why we tap glasses? Tell me why. Well, it's an old tradition. When you look at a glass of wine, you see it, you use the, your sight, you taste it, you smell it, and you touch it. The only sense you don't use is hearing. So when you tap the glasses, you use all senses to have a fine glass of wine. Right. Cheers. So now we're checking out this dessert, Father Jamie, my mm. favorite. And this is Monteleone's Bakery, right? You yes, from Court Street, yes. Can you like a piece? Yeah, for Father Jamie, this would be a first. Sure, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's so good. <laughs> Father Jamie, thank you so much for bringing me to the Taste of the Ridge. I have had such a good time, and I'm really stuffed, to be honest with you. I told you it would be a great experience. We're going to head off to our next stop. Let's go. Napoli Ice Cream Parlor is another one of the neighborhood's favorites for grown-ups and kids alike. It's a combination of old-school ice cream parlor and diner, so when you come here, you have options. But let's take a closer look for what this place is famous for, the desserts. I'm here with Manny, the owner of a Napoli Ice Cream Company. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Now this place has a really old school, old fashioned feel to it. How long has this place been here? I'd say over 100, 100 years, 110 years or so. 110 years. Give or take. Okay. You can look over here on the wall. We have the pictures of the original pictures from 1920, 1930, 1940. You guys have a lot going on in Annapolis. Tell me about some of the signature desserts you have here. Well, we have a couple of different uh, types of desserts we can discuss today. We could do something like uh, what we have here. Is it called a super special? Okay. It's uh, three scoops of any choice of ice cream you uh, any, any ice cream you want. I got about 14 or 15 flavors of ice cream, a couple of sherbets. Right. I do a couple of toppings of your choice. I have wet walnuts. I have sliced bananas, hot fudge, butterscotch, marshmallows, strawberries, whatever it is, right, and so some whipped cream if you like. Let's get it started then. Sure. Pick three flavors. Choose the flavors. Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Oh, Let's you're, go. you're traditional. Yes, I like to keep it <laughs> real. I love it. That's it. No problem. So we'll get some ice cream in here first. Keep it traditional and basic here. I mean, what place keeps it so real that they still have cherry lime Rickies? I mean, come on. And it's like the easiest thing in the world to make. <laughs> but it's such a big deal because you and then can't people get also it say, and then, That's true. Yeah, you can't get that everywhere. And then people also say, how come you guys, they go, not how come you guys, they go, how do you guys make egg creams? They go, right. what's an egg cream? Right. People say, is there actual egg in there? No. Right. no. If you're from Brooklyn, <laughs> an egg cream, you use a little bit of seltzer, a little bit of milk, and a little bit of syrup. Right. But 
It sounds so easy, a little bit of everything. A lot of people say when they come in because they feel they film shows here before. Right. And they've told me you make the best equity, Manny, and that's me. Okay. I don't know. I take it. I like them. You? I'm allergic to chocolate, but I like them. <laughs> Uh, okay. Now, what kind of topping you want? Well, let me get some bananas. Let me slice okay. some bananas. Okay. So next up, bananas. What else are we getting on well, here? You Walnuts. slice the banana and you put this on top, I would say. Right, okay. You could put a choice of syrup if you want chocolate syrup, vanilla, strawberry, cherry, hot fudge, butterscotch, whatever Let's it is. Do butterscotch. Okay. Wet walnuts. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of chocolate. I okay, better so get a little bit of hot fudge. Okay, so some hot fudge, right. some butterscotch, and right. some wet walnuts. Yeah. You want whipped cream? Sure. Yeah, might as well put the whipped cream. Might as well. You're not trying to lose <laughs> calories here. No, you don't come here and count calories. No, you don't. It's not the time to uh, think about this all that. This is not that. a helpful place, no. remember that. <laughs> want to gain weight? Come here. Okay, a little hot fudge all over. Nice. Let's put some walnuts on there. I'll get you the butterscotch in a second. You make these too? Yeah, there's nothing harder, but there's... Let's, uh, want to put some pineapple on there? Uh, sure. This yeah. you can't get like this. <laughs> this is very sweet. This actually is very, very sweet. This is That's good with right. vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Here we go. Right Sorry about the weight on this. <laughs> it tastes better than it looks. The problem is you can't stop it. Oh, I see. Let's go with cream. Okay. There and this is what it. you call a super special. You can add sprinkles super to it if you special. want. I don't think this needs anything nah, else. I think it's good. <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> Only 5,000 calories. <laughs> The Silky Smooth Homemade Ice Cream, the great soda fountain classics and floats are enough reason to see why a Napoli ice cream parlor is a neighborhood favorite. So now that we've finished checking out all the neighborhood favorites, we're going to head back to St. Andrew the Apostle. Well, Tati, that place looked like a lot of fun. It really was. And the best thing about Annapolis Ice Cream Parlor is they have things that you just can't find anywhere else, like a cherry lime ricky. You don't see that every day. I had one. It was great. They're good. There's something there for everyone, just like the neighborhood. Let's go back and take a look at the places we visited. So, Tati, with all the places that we visited, what has been your experience? Well, I haven't spent a lot of time in Bay Ridge, but what I really noticed here, it's a combination of like new and old. Very metropolitan feeling, but also has a real old world flavor. With all the restaurants to go to, I'm sure we'll be back for another episode of Breaking Bread. If you'd like to learn more about the great restaurants we visited, check out our website, and you can learn more about the show while you're there. So, for Breaking Bread, I'm Tati Amara. And I'm Father Jamie. See you next time on Breaking Bread.